So my mom watched one of my videos the other day, yesterday actually, and she was like absolutely flabbergasted at the way I looked and said, Jake, you've got to start like looking at yourself and making yourself presentable, presentable, before you can make a video. And I'm like, who cares? But then, you know, I looked at myself in the mirror and I'm like, you know, she kind of has a point. I mean... <sighs> Alright, just, just give me a second. I'll go redeem myself. Boom! There we go. That is what we were missing. Welcome everybody to another episode of Jake Makes. Today we are going to be making a cock tube projectile for... No, that's a bad way to start. Hey everybody, welcome to Jake Makes. Today, I'm going to be going into further detail about the cock tube projectile, which I mentioned briefly, and I think I fired it too, in the video about my PVC spud cannon, the testing video. Ow. Ow. Got something in my foot. I'll probably put shoes on at some point in this video. I mentioned in the other video how you could make this really awesome projectile from a empty cock tube. They are the perfect size for a two inch diameter PVC pipe. Just wrapping a little bit of tape, I think some, some electrical tape around this one, and they fit very snugly, perfect. They actually fly really, really straight and far. You can add weights inside them to make them heavier, which in turn would increase their deadliness. And all around pretty cool. So I'm like, you know, this is cool by itself. And I'll show you, you know, what they do but they can be made pretty cooler. So today we are going to be adding to this, these. These right here are giant nails. This is like the biggest nail you can possibly find. It weighs a million pounds. It's only a couple inches long, as you can see. Um, pretty, pretty tiny, actually. And then these are some even smaller, They're probably like finish nails for tiny cabinets or something. This one's cool because it's got like this spin to it. That's really awesome. I hope the camera's focusing on it and not just my face. That would be nice. So my idea for this thing is to attach them to the caulk tubes like this, making a really nasty spiked dart projectile thing for a larger bore air cannon. That is what we're doing. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get started. Okay, so without modification, here's an empty cock tube, and here's my two inch diameter um, spud cannon barrel. I go ahead and stick it in, and you can see there is only about an eighth of an inch of difference between the two. Very close fit. Not close enough though. So the first thing we have to do is wrap some tape around it to get it to fit perfectly snugly. Now you can do this with just tape, here's some duct tape here, but it'll take longer and I don't think I have quite enough tape. So I've got some toilet paper here, and I'm going to use this to basically save some duct tape. And this will help bring up the thickness a little bit without uh, wasting a whole ton of my duct tape. Because you need duct tape for other more important things like ties and blowgun darts and other stuff. And but a bang. Perfect. There we go. Very snug fit there. Not gonna be any air gaps. Exactly what we want. Now without any further modification, let's go see how this shoots. Just set up my uh, cardboard target over there, right outside the shop, because I'm feeling way too lazy to take it all the way down to my target range. I'm only feeling a little bit lazy today, as you can tell. Alright, well I missed both times and those shots were really unimpressive. I had some trouble getting the uh, fuel-to-air ratio right in the combustion chamber and didn't get a very powerful shot. 
But I don't think that really matters. I think you get the general idea. So now the question is how to attach a giant nail spike bad nasty thingy onto the end of one of these. So there are basically two ways I'm thinking of right now of attaching a nail to the end of one of these caulk tubes. And I think I'm going to try both of them. The first one is to take one of these, heat the tip up very hot, uh, probably with this propane torch, and then literally burn through the back end of the caulk tube and pull it out the front from the inside. And I think that'll work. Here's the problem with that. The problem is you've got it stuck in here and all the force when you shoot it is going to be pushing it back. And if there's nothing to hold it from being pushed back, I have a feeling when you shoot it at something into something solid, it's just going to go and be shoved right out the back end of it and not like penetrate into whatever you're shooting at. It won't get the full force. The other way I'm going to try is turn it around and stick it in from the top. And stick it in until it gets about right there. And then cut the end off the nail and make a new sharp tip up there. That way, when, when it hits something, the force will be pushed into the plastic at the bottom and it won't be able to go anywhere. That's, oh shoot. That's the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and try the melting idea first. <laughs> oh man, that smells nasty. Got a hole there, and a hole there. Set this down in the hole, take this thing, and then start tapping the nail down into it. Now you'd think, because we just burned a hole through it, that it'll now just slip right in. No, that's not how it works. The hole is still pretty tight fit for this thing. Should have stuck it in hot. That was stupid. Yeah! Oh, yeah. You know, I said in the beginning that uh, this was not the way to do it because I think it's going like, to come out. I uh, don't know if I still believe that. This. I think we'll be pretty dang solid. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to come out under any amount of pressure. But it was also an absolute pain to get in there. So I'm going to try the second method, and I think that will be the better one. Yeah, definitely easier. I'll go ahead and uh, cut that off. Put an edge on that. Pretty nasty looking. Sharp. Oh, cool. Now we will try the big one. I have no clue how I'm going to attach this thing. It's probably not going to fly anywhere when I do because it's so stinking heavy. As you go through the process of building something, you always come up with a way better idea than your first one was. And uh, I just realized you could drill this out instead of burning it out. That's like brilliant. Why didn't I think of that before? Yeah, that was a way better idea than the other one. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man. There we go. Three big pointy payloads of pure pain. Oh, man, those look bad. These are going to be seriously awesome. I think I'm going to have to wait to test them till tomorrow, though, because it's getting dark. They like savings. Love it. Not for you, though. You guys are going to see the testing right now. But before I do that, I think these need painted just to kind of make them look even more death dealing. I think I just accidentally made lawn darts. Hmm. Alright guys, day number two, out at the target range. 
Let's test these things. Something's missing. What's that trick? No, it's a... No. Oh. There we go. That did it. Alright, now we're good. First up, I'm doing a long range shot to see how well these things fly. So I didn't get much distance on those shots, but what I did get was I saw that the pain dart payloads were flying very straight. And that's really what I was mainly worried about. I didn't want them to be spinning around in the air or something, which I didn't think they would, but now we know they fly very straight. So let's get up close and see what damage they can do. First I'm going to fire at my backdrop and just see how far it goes into the wood. Oh my, that is, uh, that is solid, that's not, a. Uh... that's way in there. <laughs> it literally, literally went in half an inch. That's solid, uh, OSB there. Wow. Okay, now I'm going to fire at a spot with no um, pallet behind it and see if I can make it all the way through the OSB. <laughs> we did! We made it right through. Holy crud. Look at that! That! Look at that! Right through. Let's see here. Yep, it's not pushing its way out the back like I was afraid of. Looks like it's uh, in there pretty solid. Look at that, three inches out the back side. Ouch! Alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that one out right now, so I'm going to move on to this bad boy. The twisty demon dart. Oh man, I missed! Uh oh. We went all the way in over there. And I missed the can. Uh-oh, I think I broke my dart. Yeah, it looks like the plastic of the cock tube broke. It hit it at an angle, and the force was too much, and it snapped. And it still went all the way in. Went through a pallet, too. Man, we got a lot of power in these. <laughs> oh, man. Check this out. Giant hole here. Little hole back here. It went all the way in. All the way up like this. Right in. Dented the whole front of the can in. And came out an inch on the other side. That paint can is thick stuff. That is incredible. That's a lot of power right there. Man, that's a lot of energy. It broke my second one too. Went into both sides of it. And then the energy was so much that it knocked it off and snapped it off. Time for the big one. Now remember, this nail is about twice the size of the other ones. It's way heavier, it's way thicker. Just all around bigger. And uh, I'm probably only gonna get a couple shots out of it since they seem to be breaking rather quickly. Unfortunately, but but yeah, let's go ahead and shoot that one and see what happens. Uh oh. Oh no. It's coming apart. I hit this thing and it appears to have gone right through both sides of it. Yeah, it went through both sides of this five gallon bucket. And I still haven't hit the milk jug. And it's breaking. Look at this. It already broke. No! What do I do now? Unfortunately, the projectiles did not hold together very long. The amount of force coming out of that air cannon, and the combustion-powered cannon I used a couple times too, it's just so much force that the plastic can't handle it. 
all that force onto that one spot, you know, that just too much force. It couldn't take it, and they all three broke pretty quickly, unfortunately. I'll say those were more powerful than I was expecting. I was expecting them to work pretty well and be pretty powerful, but I wasn't expecting that much power, I'll be honest. I just, I didn't think they'd, going all the way through my backstop like that, that's something I actually did not expect. And, you know, them breaking because of all that force, I didn't expect that either. It's a, it's a lot, a lot of force there. Definitely lethal, completely deadly. Probably should never make those, but do. Anyway guys, that's about all for this video. Thanks for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned something. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. My goal is to upload a video every week. Right now I'm on schedule for that. I'm sure I will get off schedule for that sometime. But most weeks I will be uploading a new project video or something. I'll have done something new. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next project. Jake out.